We had the idea on a car journey, a long car journey back from Wales. Uh-huh. We'd been on holiday and uh, we, when we're in the car together, we tend to make each other laugh, don't we? It's... Quite a lot. <laughs> or cry. Yeah. Actually. And so I think, I can't remember which one of us, it was probably me, said <laughs> this would make a good play. The last play we wrote, I basically wrote my character and Nigel basically wrote his. This time we've done a much kind of broader mix but we did talk a long t- for a long time didn't mm. we about characters and oh she looks like this or he's got that mannerism or um, and quoted various people so yeah I would say an amalgamation of people for me. Mm. Mm. Definitely. I, m- mine changed really which is quite interesting. Mine, I started off as um, a deputy bank manager yeah. that uh, I knew from my childhood and he was very much him through a lot of the writing process but now we've come to approach it from the acting point and we have um, John Ainsworth Blair you know our marvellous director mm. yes which has actually m- made the play r- richer I think than, oh, yes. than we originally yeah. thought Yeah, absolutely and funnier Oddly, because we're not approaching it, we've got to laugh here or a laugh here, but making it more truthful, mm. which also, which always makes it funnier, I think. But yes, yes, he's changed. If I was marketing it, I'd probably say it was a comedy. But in terms of approaching it, directing, I think, I think I always take it completely seriously. It doesn't make a difference if it's a comedy or not. So any laughs that come out of it come out in, in a natural way. You're not looking for the jokes you're not telling jokes there's not sort of punchlines and things like that so it's a natural comedy we wanted to choose a really stressful time uh of of being in a car journey so we tossed around funerals and weddings and things but then came up with christmas because everyone (laughs) christmas yeah everyone at some point in their life has had a traumatic journey to christmas haven't they so uh christmas eve we're going in run direction towards family and then boxing day Second half, we're coming, coming in another back. direction, away, and all that's happened in between. It's, it's about a relationship, and I don't think there's anything more interesting than exploring a relationship and all the different layers of it, and particularly a relationship like this, which is um, it's a marriage of 35 years, I think we're talking about. So there's a lot of history there, and you're seeing them as they are now, and you're thinking, how did they get to this point in their lives? Um, and the fact that they're both keeping secrets from each other, different secrets, that adds in a whole different day. And, and because of the secrets, it brings out other things uh, about the relationship. I think that's, it's, yeah, quite, there's a nice degree of complexity about it. I so wish I'd had my actor <laughs> <laughs> brain on when we were writing this. Because now we're at the stage of learning it. Oh ah! my God, yes, it's very complicated. We've written some incredibly complex one line dialogue, <laughs> which is interspersed with a talking sat nav which is, makes it really difficult to learn, really difficult. In effect, you have to learn the whole thing, Ugh. like a monologue, yeah. but only speak your bit of it for it yes. to work properly. Turn around where possible. One coup we should talk about is the voice of the sat Turn left at the next junction. India Fisher, who's the voice of Master Chef. Yeah. And she's magnificent, yeah, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah, she's terrific. In 300 yards, turn left. Yeah, a lot of it's real. There's a little section about... Um, I need to buy some marmalade. Um, and I say, you don't eat marmalade. And he said, I do sometimes. And I go, only when we can't get marmite. And that exactly happened when we went to Canberra Sands for four days uh, to write the play. <laughs> so I just lifted it. And... Yeah, the funny thing is, I do eat marmalade. I just don't eat it at your house. You don't eat I do eat marmalade. I, I like a bit of marmalade from time to time. I rest my case. <laughs> you have reached your destination. 